Homemade rockets launch from homemade submarines next to dragon wings floating in the ocean on your space pod for August 24th, 2010. Now before we begin, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our new viewers on both Space.com and Universe Today. Hopefully you'll like what you'll see and you'll stick around for a while. Check out some of our other videos and join us for our live weekly show all about space. Now for today though, let's start over at the Pacific Ocean where SpaceX tested the Dragon Parachute Deployment System on August 12th, 2010. Looking good on both drogues. Both drogues inflated. Fall looks nominal. If that's correct. Any second now. There we go. Mains are out. Mains inflating. Remains looking good. Briefing stage one. And drop one is flirting uh, drop zone at uh, 14,200 feet. Stage two looking good. Now the Dragon spacecraft will initially transport cargo to the International Space Station, but it's just begging to be human rated. That's cool and all, but let's go to the fringe of new space with Copenhagen's suborbitals where they really are trying to put humans into space. This next Monday, right after Space Up DC, the nonprofit team that is Copenhagen Suborbital will launch their Heat 1X rocket from the Baltic Sea. The ultimate goal, of course, is to put a human into space, although it looks like the accommodations may be a bit more restrictive than that of Virgin Galactic. Now, this test flight will include a capsule with a human dummy that will float back down to the water. Well, at least that's the plan. This particular mission should go as high as 93 miles or just under half the way to the International Space Station. Now, this is Denmark's largest launch ever and should be awesome. How awesome? Well, they're towing the rocket out to sea using a homemade submarine that they built if that's not an epic awesome of epic epicness, then I don't know what is. Of course, when I watch their engine test firing, I can't help to think that it looks a bit rougher than would be required for human spaceflight. I guess we'll see this Monday. And of course, if you want to keep the conversation going, join us in Washington, D.C. this Friday and Saturday for your Space Unconference. Space Vidcast will be there. I hope you'll be there, too.